Globalization of the American Paddlefish When flooded in spring, gravel bars on the upper Osage River were the largest natural spawning grounds of the American paddlefish. When these ancient filter feeders were concentrated during spring spawning runs upriver, they were snagged by fishermen, who valued their firm, boneless flesh. Harry S. Truman Dam blocked access to these gravel beds and then buried them underwater. In response to this, the Missouri Department of Conservation pioneered artificially propagating and raising paddlefish. At the Blind Pony Hatchery, millions of baby paddlefish have been hatched and then stocked in Missouri reservoirs. This close cousin of the sturgeon is highly valued, not only for its meat, but also for its roe, or eggs, which makes a respectable form of caviar. With the cooperation of the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, the department generously provided eggs, fry, and even some adult Osage River paddlefish to the Soviet Union from 1974 to 1977. Between 1984 and 1986, the Russians successfully bred the Osage River stock at the experimental fish breeding plant near the Black Sea. As well as raising them for food and caviar, the Russians have distributed paddlefish to Romania, Moldavia, Ukraine, Hungary, and the Czech Republic. International interest in the Osage River paddlefish coincides with the 1972 environmental lawsuit to stop the dam and save their spawning grounds. The Chinese began obtaining paddlefish fry from the United States in 1988. Soon they realized that fertilized paddlefish eggs had greater viability and they began buying them from private hatcheries in the U.S. and Russia. Today, paddlefish are successfully spawned in China and raised for food in ponds in more than 10 provinces. In addition to the flesh, the head, gills, and intestines are incorporated into dishes in China. The Chinese enjoy watching the American paddlefish as an aquarium exhibit. Signs in the Dalian Aquarium make no mention of their native paddlefish. Once there was another paddlefish species which lived in the big rivers of China. The Chinese paddlefish, which was a fish eater, not a plankton filter feeder, grew to more than 20 feet long in the Yangtze River. The last living specimen was captured in 1993. Their rivers are even more dammed than those in the United States. Blocked access to spawning grounds as well as pollution and overfishing are responsible for their disappearance. While artificial propagation and release may be necessary, as natural spawning is increasingly blocked by river development, it could lead to genetic introgression, reduce diversity, and produce fish with poor survival fitness in the wild. Natural selection in a hatchery may produce fish that have inferior responses to a wild environment. Traits that help them survive in hatchery jars, tanks, and ponds do not necessarily aid their survival in a free-flowing river. Even though hatchery managers take steps to minimize genetic hazards, paddlefish may become essentially a domesticated species. As a 1986 symposium on the paddlefish concluded, we do not consider stocking to be an answer to habitat deterioration and management problems. In addition, stocking would affect the integrity of paddlefish gene pools and is ill-advised until we know a lot more about the genetics of this species. The Osage River is likely the source for most of the globalized paddlefish. Had Truman Dam not destroyed the largest known natural spawning beds, genetically diverse, self-sustaining natural stock could have continued to resupply the world with a valuable source of food. A limited number of genetic lines are being artificially reproduced over and over again. Aquaculture, aquarium display, and releasing hatchery-raised fish do not guarantee the survival of a species. The paddlefish, a living relic of prehistory, more than 65 million years old, is on the road to becoming a creature dependent on man for its survival. For more on the Osage River and its contentious conversion into reservoirs, read Damning the Osage. This 304-page book with 435 color illustrations is available postage paid at www.damningtheosage.com.